Hello everyone and welcome back to Winterborn in Frostbrunk Endless Extreme and we continue onwards towards the first storm. It's not on the horizon yet but of course we continue the preparation. Our little settlement is growing nicely right now, 115 people we have and yeah we've also secured the food production in the last episode. We have a second scout team roaming the fields and we are, have just finished the steelworks that we're also going to staff of course with workers right away. We have an ultimatum right now running that I'm confident that we can save today. And after now in, yeah, about 25% we will be able to also to have the cold thumper ready. Super important as we ramp up now the heat for the generator to level two soon. And with that, we should have then enough coal ready for action. As always, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to su subscribe me on Patreon. I would very much appreciate that. And if you want to follow me live, I also have a Twitch account. You can find the links in the description. Now, um, I will probably have to assign now more people to the cookhouse. Kids are perfect for this. Four we have. It's close to the generator, it's warm. Kids are very easy to fall sick, right? And in this case, I want to, to offer them only the best workplaces. Less than an hour we have for the coal thumper. So let's just wait it out. There it is, coal thumper. Very good. Um, next up on the research, we should decide on that real quickly. I'm actually inclined to go for the generator power upgrade now. <laughs> I could also go for bunk houses and save up more coal. Hmm, this is also once again a decision we could do. Or we go for drafting machine tier 2 technologies. Let's go for the generator power upgrade. We're going to need it for tomorrow. Then we'll have two days of negative 50 degrees. By then I should have it ready. And next up, we can now start with the coal thumper. Yep, let's have it here somewhere beside the steelworks. And then we're also going to have close by two gathering posts. And let's make sure that they're close really, right? So here somewhere, I think we can actually then squeeze in four here, five even. Let's start with those two. And the cool thing is we can then also heat them during daytime. And we can even add more buffs then to the future in this area. But more on that later. All right, double rations for kids. In the wake of recent child work accidents, the parents argued that we could give working children double rations to make them stronger and help prevent injuries. And uh, nope. Unfortunately, I will not be able to do this. Let's build the next team up. Or... <laughs> no, let's not do this now. Let's finish construction first. People are on the way. Woman in despair. A woman is sitting in the snow pit holding her dead hus husband's hand, crying her heart out. Perhaps you should have agreed to give people proper burials. Uh, make an exception and bury him. No, I did what I had to do. Hope will fall a bit. Two workshops working. That's also great stuff. Speeding up research significantly. And I might actually also give me another medical post. Cold thump already. Let's assign some 10 people to that. So the cold thumper is doing nothing other than digging coal from the ground, right? Getting it up there and it's providing endless amount of coal for a workforce though, right? And the gathering post in the surrounding area can then take it. Right now we have a positive coal supply. So I'm just going to have the cold thumper um, digging up some coal already that we can use then for, yeah, for the digging when it comes to that. What I could do in the meantime, I could actually give me a second sawmill because we will still need way more wood. Don't underestimate that. During this day, uh, let's actually finish the snow pit for good now. This night. And I might consider now also building me a sawmill then up here. Scouts are close to arriving at their stations. Very important. The gathering posts are ready. Almost. Freezing homes. Captain, people have gathered to protest against the cold in their homes. They're angry that despite the health risks posed by the cold, you seem to be neglecting the problem. Um, I won't address this. I cannot, I cannot address this. We're getting another uh, bump there in, in cold. I can give them an overdrive 
that will heat some of them. And also that snow pit should do, should do something. There it is. Snow pit has been established. This gives me a nice bump down. And we're also going to build a steam hub for the hot houses and those tents here now. Because we need that for the following day. Otherwise, the hot houses will not work anymore. To get the discontent down further, I might consider actually now also then lowering some of the extended shifts. Now, next up on my list is probably for researching. Yep, drafting machines. 75 would we pay for that. And it's going to take me probably quite some time. Alright, that steam hub is about to finish. This should actually reduce discontent enough. Because we're now heating all these homes here. Overdrive is active, so it's really warm. Let's also reduce the shifts just for now. So they don't... They don't stay angry that much. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. Let's actually bump it up again for some of those industries. For the coal thumper, not yet. I mean, we are pretty negative now on the coal, of course. But I'm not intending to keep steam level 2 there active all the time. In fact, we're going to disable it now together with the overdrive. And I'm also going to build me another medical post. Here we would get the heating. Perfect. Radio station. The mast is old. It's so rusty that it's a wonder it didn't collapse. Taking it apart will be difficult, but should yield some usable steel. Woody steel coming in. Uh, barren hollow or windswept snow fields? Let's go for the barren hollow. Yeah, we got a lot of sick people right now. Day 10 it is. Rock formation, there's nothing. But we found a research outpost. This could yield us some valuable stuff. Steam cores, I would think about. Alright, I'm really tempted now to use the coal thumper to the maximum. Let's assign people to that. It's getting cold now, like really cold. The hothouses continue to function though, that's important. And we will need to assign more heaters now. And this is where coal really could become a problem now for us, right? Alright, for now it's fine. The thing is with the heating. The next medical post is ready. Let's assign some five engineers to that. So that we can continue with healing. So we have room for 30 people now. Still, productivity is down across the board. And discontent goes up further. I um, might actually consider dropping it for the steelworks there for the moment. Book of Law. Very good. We got two very important options here now. Either we go with the public house and then the moonshine, which will permanently reduce my discontent. We could also finally go now into the purpose tree and that's the hope area. So here we could take two routes. First, security with neighborhood watches, or we're going into Hope, House of Prayer, which will unlock us the shrines and the field kitchens. Two very important upgrades, and I would like to go with this route here. House of Prayer it is as my first target. We have to promise, however, to build two houses of prayer within four days, and unfortunately they are quite expensive, so that's a downside to this early on. Also, we can see the first, temp uh, the first storm on the horizon. In about four days, the temperatures will drop by three levels, and most buildings will cease to function by then. How long the storm is, we cannot tell at the moment. And I wouldn't address long hours of toil right now. This is a big problem there, unfortunately, these long hours of toil, right? Um, I might address it for the gathering post since we're full anyway on coal. And the cookhouse too. We don't really need it on the cookhouse. For this night, since we're full with coal anyway, let's activate steam level 2 to get the heating up. This will lead to uh, chilly temperatures. And with an overdrive, I'm confident that we can raise it even further. Yeah, coal, we're full. So really, I... Yeah, 
we're consuming now coal though so i keep it and as you can see it's getting a bit tricky now with negative 50. <sighs> this content is a problem and my workshop is a problem i will actually have to activate it for one of my other workshops there Rafting machines, there it is. Super important tier two technologies available to us now. So by now, the most important thing is heating for sure as we prepare for the first storm and also my coal. Now coal will be fine as we progress. Um, I would probably like to look for gathering post insulation. We could also improve our steam, uh, steel output, or I could start with the bunkhouses. All of this is very important. Improved heaters, I consider one of the most important ones right now. So let's go for this. It'll take me 12 hours of research, so we should be able to finish it tomorrow. Yeah, we will, of course. Um, we will need to have them ready. Okay, we can activate the overdrive now for this night. There it is, reducing this content quite a bit. And with that, we'll be able to fall below the threshold there for sure for the coal thumper and also for the cookhouse once again very good it's also livable in all these tents now that should hopefully reduce my sickness rate which is crazy at this point so we have a lot of sick people 33 right now and this night will be no different At least the fighting arenas do a, a bit of a job there. No one needs to starve right now. That's also good for us. Now let's just work it through the night. As you can see, lots of movement there on the sickness scale. Well, 40 sick. It's too much. We have a nice healing rate though right now because of all the boosts. We have arrived at the research outpost. These peop the people who worked here were explorers. They paved the way north for the rest of us. They must have left in a hurry, perhaps to reunite with their families before the grand winter took hold. And two steam cores. Perfect. Nothing else to ex explore here, so I will probably go home now with them. In one day they arrive, so before the storm. We should also then hurry and send the other scouts back home then soon, because the storm will swallow them otherwise. All right, next day it is. Going to deactivate the overdrive for now. Sickness rate is my most, uh, my biggest problem right now. And it's dragging down my whole economy at this point. So we need to get this in order. During the day, let's reduce it to steam level one again. Scouts have arrived at the Baron Hollow. Unfortunately, there's nothing. There is then the supply trailer and the icefall mine. Let's go for the supply trailer and from here then back home to Winterfell. One day and 11 hours? This will not be enough. Nope, we need to send them back now. It's good because they also have some resources on board. 87 steel and the other one has 104 wood on board. So there's lots of raw materials coming in as well with the, the scouts. Right, come on, heal the sick. Super important. Improved heaters. Five hours. And I'm also going to put the extended shift on both workshops again. It's very tempting right now to use another emergency shift. We probably will be able to, to, uh, to bypass that, right? So I'm probably going to keep them working through the night again. This will trigger another ultimatum, but it should be fine. And there it is, improved heaters. So they are not only consuming more coal now, but they're also upping the temperature for all the works here by two. And this will have a drastic impact then on my on my workers' health, which is super important at this point. Next up, um, we might go for the generator efficiency. We consume less coal. We might also go for bunkhouses. Now or later. Gathering post insulation. Let's have this one first. That's super important because it gives me another level of gathering post. So we can have them keeping running through the night. And through the storm. Which is probably something I will have to do. Bank houses we still have time. 
especially with the over with the emergency shift in mind. All right, let's activate steam level two again. For the night, and let's also activate the emergency shift. Once again, we get the ultimatum as expected. Let's activate the overdrive. Nope, let's not do this. The next book of law. I'm going with shrines. Super nice. Shrines will allow me to boost my workforce efficiency even further. And I would like to actually get them going right away. And we can actually also use, as you can see here now, two med posts and the workshops with one shrine. This will boost our overall productivity, I think by 20% it was. And we can do the same thing then here for my coal area, of course. And then we have another one for the hot houses and that medical post that we have here too. So three shrines coming up now, boosting my economy a bit. Uh, we have the promise of building three shrines, actually. And we also still have the promise to build two houses of prayer. Plus, we need to upgrade to bunk houses. So that wood is going nowhere um, soon. So let's actually also put the extended shift on the sawmill. As we really, really need that. Overdrive a bit, just for now. To keep sickness down. Not that it really helps that much. Shrines have been built. And with that, we are looking at 100, and, yeah, it was 20%, 140% efficiency on the medical posts. Very good. Improving my recovery rates significantly. Also on the shrines and also on my coal. And of course, also on my research. Where we're working then with, well, uh, let's wait for it to be active, 120% efficiency. The next day, let's reduce steam level to one. Temperature goes up and the storm is on the horizon. We don't see it yet. It's forming right now. And soon it'll swallow winter home. Winterborn. The next sawmill is ready. We don't have really the workforce for that. Nor can I spare any more people. We have prepared it for the next... For the area after the storm. Oh, this gathering post here is empty now. Let's dismantle it. And probably put those people then on the coal. So here we have now two gathering posts working together with a shrine. Barely enough. So I will need to build another gathering post. Gathering post insulation is now coming online. And judging by the forecast, the weather will only get worse as storms threaten to cut off our city from necessary resources. On the other hand, storms can uncover new places. Gathering post insulation, very good. It's way warmer now in this case, and I don't need the heater for now, which is going to save me some coal. Next up on the list, it's the bunkhouses. Upgrading those tents is super important that we do this before the storm. Food-wise will be fine. Coal-wise, I'm not so sure right now. Yeah, deactivating some heaters gives me back some coal. The storm is will last two days. These are going to be some very tough days. And we consume about, I would say, 700, 800 coal when the storm hits, right? So we need to keep at least 900 coal until then. Otherwise, we might be running into a big problem there. We'll just see. 16 sick only, so this is improving right now. The next gathering post is ready. Let's assign everyone that I still have into this and put them on extended shifts. We need that coal. With that, we have 800 per day right now coming in. Also, I will need to build those houses of prayer. Two 
two of them. Leaving me with no wood, but we get 100 wood in soon. And let's also have this one working on extended for now, yeah. The next law, very important one, build kitchens. With that, we can raise the level of heating in the surrounding area by one. Um, that is a super important tact and very good for the storm. Probably going to use it then here for my gathering posts. Because we need to keep that coal industry running through the storm, no matter what. Hold homes? I cannot address this right now, I'm sorry. It's uh, discontent wise, we need to actually do it now, I think. Let's raise the heat levels. And then also reduce the extended shifts once more. There you go. And with that, no ultimatum for now. At least for the coal industry, we need to keep it up. Though for the steel and for the wood, I'm going to keep normal shifts for now. Because we want to keep people a bit happy there. House of Prayer number one. And the first scouts have returned with 87 steel on board. Plus also we can dispense them for another 40 wood. The first scout, very good. It's going to help us out. I'm super tempted right now to go for another emergency shift. We're not doing this though. House of Prayer, we have a special action here. A short sermon will be delivered in places of worship. And with that we can raise hope a bit. We are down to three sick people only for this night. Perfect. Very good for the storm. Let's deactivate the overdrive. And the Houses of Prayer have been built. Another promise fulfilled. It's going to be a very busy day now. It's the last day before the storm. The second scout team comes in with wood, steam cores, raw food and coal. We can also dispense them for another 40 wood. Right? So that's plenty of materials now that we have. Also we got 10 more workforce available now that I can use on my gathering posts for that coal that we have out of this one. Yeah. Right, three medical posts. I might consider building a fourth one. What I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to build that field kitchen. Mm. Yep. With that, we can get all these buildings in, heating them. Super important. Outside, it looks a bit more dangerous now. The storm is closing in, as we can see. Everything else that we have not uncovered so far is being lost. That supply trailer would have been amazing, I'm pretty sure. Usually it has some steam cores. We have three steam cores, that's okay. Alright, it's that last last day before the first storm. The sun is going up. I'm going to reduce steam level to one again. Just for now. Yeah. Might be looking at another ultimatum. Bankhouse has been finished. One more research we can do before the storm hits. What is it? I might be looking at the generator efficiency upgrade here. We could also go into... Oh, medical post and then healthcare insulation. That's something. Let's do this. We need that, actually. We need to finish it today. I need that insulation for the medical post. Otherwise, they will not work anymore. And we can start with the upgrades. We should do this ASAP. Let's start with the four, first four here. Right. And I hope I have enough workforce. Another ultimatum that we need to clear today. Otherwise the game is over. And do we have the workforce? Yeah, we have eight workers available. They will build those houses now. Work time. Get moving. This is all very tight right now. Preparations are on the way. The field kitchen is ready. So we can use this one then for the storm. So people will have it proper warm in here. <laughs> That's the important thing. And the first bunk houses are ready. These are looking like proper homes now. Not the tents anymore. But actually some walls. And some proper heating. So far so good. 
the last day before the storm is coming to an end and we continue on in the next episode and hopefully survive that storm winterborn must prevail stay tuned <laughs>